So this program just sends some data from the DHT sensor, uh, humidity and temperature, up to Firebase. And from there, you can read it on a phone or from a website. Um, and yeah, so this is just a combination of three other videos all into one program. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is import the Adafruit DHT um, module so I can use my DHT. I'm just going to rename it DHT to save myself writing this out every single time, which I've done. I've now got the name of my database. If you're copy and pasting this, you'll need to change this bit to your um, real-time database in Firebase. So uh, I'm going to use pin four for my uh, DHT sensor. And I'm going to call the data from that. I'm going to get two numbers. It, you get one number, another number, and it goes in DHT in that order. So humidity and temperature. So make sure you don't put temperature humidity in, you got to go backwards. So that's that there. I'm just printing it here to the screen uh, so that if I get an, a connection error with my Firebase, at least I know it's worked up until the sensor and the Raspberry Pi and the Python's all working, you know, and maybe it's a, it's a website Firebase related problem. So this little next bit is sending this stuff to Firebase. I take my temp and my humid and I give them proper names when I send them to Firebase, temperature and humidity. Whatever you name them, they get renamed at this point. You can name them the same thing you want, it's fine. But I'm gonna use proper English words at this stage. I give it a little moment to let Firebase update so the data can go up and go down. If I try and read it too quickly, it may not have uploaded. Um, that's that. And then the final part, part three, is just two little chunks here to read each of the values from the Firebase. Um, so uh, that's it. And uh, it'll it'll just work away there. The, the only thing I'm probably going to change about this is um, I'm going to put in a little sleep a thousand and loop it here. So every thousand seconds or, or so, I don't know how many minutes that is, but it seems like a little bit, um, it's going to loop. And the way I do that, and that's basically so that I can kind of just leave my Raspberry Pi there all day and every so often, a thousand seconds, it'll send some more data up to Firebase. Um, otherwise, I don't want it to overlay, overload the, the, I don't need like the most up nine seconds uh, up to date humidity, unless I'm doing something mad in that room. So uh, let's see, I don't need to reset the Firebase every time because it's gonna be the same, but at this point here, just above where I, I take the values from the sensor, I do need to start the loop, okay? So from humidity, temperature, as it gets uh, in from the sensor, that's where I'm gonna loop it. So I go while, true, with a T. And I've indented everything below that in the program by hitting tab, and that will just, that will just keep updating all day. So uh, let's see the program run. And you know, you can hit uh, control C um, on, in Python to kill the loop if you need to, um, for whatever reason, if you want to change your program. But we'll give it a go there. So the first thing it's going to do is read the stuff locally on the Raspberry Pi. So I should see some print statements. There's probably a little bit of lag from VLC over to Raspberry Pi, so it might go a little bit faster. No, it's fine, yeah. You can see there, it's, it's reading it great. And now it's read it from the database and program done. So it's now going to wait a thousand seconds and um, it's going to send it again. So we'll just wait a thousand seconds. I'm not going to wait a thousand seconds. That's the video over.